Have you ever wondered exactly what the right steps are to set up a blog in your own website like myname.com? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of getting started with that and it's a little bit different than I normally would be publishing here on the VidPro Mom channel. So if you have never seen me before in your entire life, my name is Meredith and here on the VidPro Mom YouTube channel, I help you create better videos so that you can grow your audience and income online using YouTube. However, many, many, many video creators on my channel, on my Instagram, and all the places often ask me, should I be doing a blog? Should I be creating blog posts, repurposing my videos? And the answer is yes, you should absolutely be doing that because Google, because Google, that's the answer. Google's a search engine, YouTube is a search engine. If you can combine written content that Google knows what it's all about and knows who you are with your video content on YouTube, it's like a match made in heaven. Don't skip this. And there is no time like the present to spend a little extra time on this if you have some ideas for starting a blog, getting your content out there. It can be easier to start a blog than a YouTube channel. And you can always turn your blog posts into videos later. Or if you have videos on a channel already, you can turn them into blog posts really easily. So in this video, we're gonna start with step number one, which is to find and purchase a domain name like you know, myname.com or vidpromom.com. And before we dive into that, I wanna let you know that I created a free downloadable printable cheat sheet for you to walk you through step-by-step -step exactly everything we're gonna cover in this step-by-step -step blog setup series. That's what we're gonna call it. So I put a link down in the description for you to download that checklist. If you skip any steps or you miss anything down the road, you're probably going to regret it. So be sure to download that checklist. I have a whole handful, really two handfuls of tutorial videos, step-by-step -step guides on setting up a blog, installing WordPress, customizing your theme, and all that stuff. So buckle up, hit subscribe, and let's get started. Now I use namecheap.com to buy all of my domain names. I would not recommend buying your domain name through WordPress, even though we are going to be installing a WordPress website on our host. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but I wouldn't recommend buying your domain name through WordPress. Namecheap is the one that I recommend. I'll put a link down below so that you have a direct link. And for this process, we're actually gonna use Namecheap to buy our domain name and also to buy our hosting where we install our website. So when you have an idea for a domain name, you basically just go to namecheap.com. You would type it in. The website I'm setting up today is vidprohero.com. So I've already purchased it, but if that was my idea, I come in here and it's gonna tell me that it's already taken. That's good because I already own it. Uh, but it gives you some other options here that you could choose from, to be honest, I would try my hardest to get a .com. So what you might do is uh, come back to the domain name search and you, you know type in something else, vidprohero.mom.com. I doubt anybody owns this, so uh, let's see. So I get this check mark and it's available, so you just add it to the cart. It's $8.88 a year. At this point, I wouldn't add anything in from here. Okay, just go to view cart. You're gonna register it for one year. You can check this to auto renew just in case you think you might forget to come back and renew it. You can also register it for up to 10 years. The who is guard is a way for Namecheap will kind of hide your direct contact information, like your name and your contact information. So if anybody ever goes and looks up, you know, they want to know who owns vidproheromom.com. It's not going to say, oh, Meredith Marsh, and here's her address, and here's her phone number, and here's how to contact her. It's going to hide that information, and it's free. So I just always have it enabled. So then you would come down to confirm order, 
and I'm not going to confirm this order because I don't actually want to buy this particular domain name. So once you have gone through the checkout process, put in your payment information, then under account and dashboard, you will find all of your domain names. So I have VidPro Hero right here. I'm going to come over to manage and you're just going to see this is where you manage your domain. And there's not a whole lot that you really need to do here, but let's just say for right now, you want to redirect it to your YouTube channel. This is where you would do that, redirect domain. So you would have vidprohero.com. It's going to redirect to, and then the destination URL would be where you want it to redirect to. So you'd put in the URL for your YouTube channel there. Now, a couple of things you should know about domain names. One, it's not set in stone. So if you feel like, I don't really know what I want it to be, buy a couple. You can always change your mind. It's really not that big of a deal. But once you have your domain name and it's there, you own it, it's registered to you, you have to actually put a website and attach it to that domain name. So that's what we're gonna cover in the very next video, which I will queue up here for you. We're going to get hosting and install WordPress. It's a lot easier than it sounds, trust me. Join me in the next video.